YouTube! So I'm sorry I've been absent for a while. I've actually filmed about 12 videos and then just not edited them. So hopefully this time I'll film an edit. So I was just asking Stephen, my lovely other half, uh, if he could think of any ideas for videos. And his gem of an idea was things that look like penises. Safe to say I'm not going to be doing that. I've got my wine. I thought I'd have a little wine and a moan or a wine and a wine if you will. So the number one thing I would like to complain about today is the people who judge me for not crossing the road when the man is red, okay? I, if you want to die, that's fine. But I just want to wait to the green man. Like it's what, like three minutes out of my day. I'm just going to wait for the green man. Mm -hmm, everything's fine. Have a little walk or across. Or I could be impatient and start walking across and then get hit by a lorry. No, no, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the green man as I was very rightly taught to do. Uh, don't be looking at me because I want to live. Um, so I get the train to work and it's usually all right. Um, I mean, it's usually late, but I can deal with it. But there's a bit where everyone queues up and there's like rows and rows of people and we're all kind of squishing towards the front. Then the train comes and everyone has to move anyway. So if you're at the front, you've lost your spot. Uh, whilst everyone kind of tries to squeeze out and then everyone like funnels on and bear in mind this is where the, the, it starts so we're all getting on we're all getting on we're probably all going to get seats and everyone just kind of like squeezes past each other and like elbows out and it's just like guys calm your beans so I used to work in a, a children's casting agency and we would get um, applications through and people would have these stupidest email addresses I judge you if you have a stupid email address because email addresses are free and you can change it to something. So mine is just Cody Louise. Eh, pretty, like, not embarrassing. That's been my email address forever. Okay. I know friends who were things like Horny Babe Six Nine or Cheeky Cow One Two Five. Okay, that's fine. That's fine that 12 year old you use that to sign into MSN, but 24 year old you should not be using that on your CV. Staying on the vein of Facebook and indeed names, what does not need to happen is for your children's names to be your middle name. So you don't need to be Sarah, Mummy to Lily Mae and Harrison, Austin. Worse, it's worse when they've got the little, so you know, you've got your name and you're having brackets, your nickname, or what you used to be before you were married, what people might know you as. People who have in their brackets like Ethan's mummy, or worse, Ethan's godmother, or proud auntie. And it's like, no, no, I'm a very proud auntie, I'm a very proud godmother. But I mean, if you know me, you know that. I might say it somewhere else on my profile, but it does not need to be in my name. So I'm not like, Cody Louise, Lily Evelyn May's godmother, Austin. No, because it's just not necessary. There's no need for it. Furthermore, on Facebook, the thing that gets to me so much is minion memes. Ugh. Okay, in the context of Despicable Me, they were cute, I liked him. Like, oh, minions, they were quite cute. The world's gone minion mad and I just had grown women with minion slippers or you know you get like big minion onesies and it's just not necessary and it's weird. I'm not a fan but oh, the things I can't get are the memes that your mum's middle-aged friends post all over their Facebooks. Someone's got a little put your minion in the corner and then a completely unrelated quote like oh some of them are just like share if you love your mum. I love my mum but she's got nothing to do with minions. And so it's not, not relevant. I hate the, I've learned who to trust now, kind of, oh, I'm, I'm poofing, for, poofing? <laughs> I'm poofing for attention. I want you to think that I'm deep and interested in my life's full of drama. Don't like those. And why is there a minion? But I saw one the other day that killed me inside. <laughs> it was a minion. And it had, um, it had a, a, one of those like sappy poems on it that was about like, you know, if tears could build a staircase and memories are lame, which you know is nice enough and, you know, share this rose if you love someone in heaven kind of thing. Share this rose. It was a minion. So they've clearly copied and pasted this of a, a gif of a sparkly rose like you had in the days of Bebo and then put it 
onto a picture of a minion. But if I die, when I die, if I die when minions are still a thing, please, sweet baby Jesus, please do not share any of those about me. No, I'll haunt you so bad. They just make me cringe. It, they're just, they're not funny or witty or original and the minions don't have anything to do with anything. Why? Um, and because I feel like I've whinged a lot, I will finish with this happy little Squidge. Squidge, say hi. I did, you kind of waved. Oh, he loves me so much. Oh, love me. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was just a stupid but angry uh, and important video about some things what annoy me sometimes. Please like, comment and subscribe if you want to do any of those things. Uh, and if you have any ideas for videos, I'd be very grateful because they're about. Otherwise, next time it will be things that are shaped like penises, peni, and nobody wants that. Bye!